So and welcome to part two. This is on the assembly. This is on the understanding your nitro engine series, and um, this is part two. Last part, um, part one, we were looking at the components, both the visible and the internal components. So um, like I just said in part two, right now we're going to be um, having a look at the internal parts of a nitro engine. I did cover a little bit of that in the part one as well, but please check out part one if you haven't done already. So um, in this part we are going to be having a look at the um, nitro engine, the internal components and also how to assemble and reassemble and take apart your nitro engine. So I have sitting here a standard 0.18 Vertex 18 crankcase and crankshaft and um, these are the parts we are going to be looking at and this tutorial does exclude how to remove heatsink and parts like that but we will still cover it. So usually you will have on this top part here, screwed on to these four screws, you will actually have usually a heat sink. That is easily removable by removing the four screws which are inside your nitro engine heat sink. You will see them easily if you have a look into the area where the glow plug is. Remove them four screws and your heat sink will come right off. Another thing is usually a carb will be here aka carburetor. Also, that is also very easily removable. You will find a screw sits in this hole here with a bolt on the end. Unscrew that bolt and remove the screw and your carb will come right off. Let's take a look inside. If you turn it up onto this way, you can see the internal components. The part that runs right from this side here so this side here is known as your crankshaft. The shaft turns. Now as I am turning it, you can see this part is turning here. The mini flywheel is turning here. This part in here, a hole appears. Then it disappears. This part is turning here. Also the internal components here, you can see them ones are turning. As your nitro engine runs, as it is running, as the engine is started, it is turning very, very fast. Okay? Now, this part here is known as your backing plate. This is easily removable by removing the four screws on your backing plate. Once you have removed the screws, there you are. You can now see into your nitro engine more. On the backing plate, you can see this part here turns. This part here. And that is how it works. Because usually, you can see the notch here joins on to this part here then as you pull the pull start or as the engine starts because this is turning that is joint to that and you can see they join together and they turn each other The crankshaft is easily removable. Let's take a look. There we are. Here is our crankshaft. This is the part of which that sat onto, you remember? This is the part of which the hole kept appearing and disappearing in there. And this is the part that joins onto here. And then as it turns, the crankshaft turns. Very, very simple. The internal engine components are very, very simple 
to view and understand. Reassembling your nitro engine back together. Simply replace the crankshaft. Do not be afraid to use some force. Keep your hands well clear of this area when you are applying the force. Once it's in, simply push it through. There we are. Simple. You can see this part is back here and the hole is back there again. There we go. Cool. And next, it is very simple, the next part is to make sure you have your backing plate around the right way. Push this part on as far as it will go. Turn this part till it joins into there. Then push on your backing plate so that it goes right in. Now these two parts are meeting. Then you can go ahead and replace these four screws on here. You can replace your heat sink and your carb. And I have to say it is very very simple and very very easy thing to do. So that was part two of the Understanding Your Nitro Engine series. I hope you have found part one and two very um, educational. Please do not forget to check out part one if you have not done so already. Part 3 is coming up very, very shortly. Stay tuned for it. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can email me, gt12rchelp at aol.co.uk. Add me to your MSN contact, gt12rchelp um, at aol.co.uk. Or you can add me to your Facebook. And that is under Josh Thorney at rocketmail.co.uk. Or you can, even simpler, just email me to that address. Thank you very much. And more videos are coming.